In this video, I want to revisit the discussion of undefined versus null and see how it applies to a specific use case in the case of objects. You remember I told you about undefined versus null, how undefined is when a value hasn't been set to a variable, whereas null is where an empty value or a non-value is set to a variable. So in the case of objects, there are certain implications that you need to think about and uh, remember. Uh, you remember I had showed you that when you are referring to a property of an object where the property does not exist on the object currently, the value that you're going to get back is undefined. Okay, so for instance, let's say I have this person object where you have a first name and a last name. Now this is my first name and last name. Now if I were to access person.age, what would happen? This object does not have a person.age. Okay, so there's no age property. What you would get is undefined, right? Because it does not exist. And this is the way the JavaScript objects work. If you're accessing a property which does not exist, it doesn't throw an error, all you get is undefined. Now let's say there is a middle name property on this object. Let's say I wanna have a middle name property. And uh, again, suppose I don't have a middle name, right? So in that scenario, if somebody were to access Person dot middle name for my object, which does not have middle name, what would be the value that get, that it, they get? They would get undefined, right? Now the way for me to communicate that it's not and it's not undefined. I actually don't have a middle name. What I can do is I can set a property called middle name and set the value as null. Again, use the analogy of not initializing a value and initializing a non-value. Age here is not set so it is blank because it's undefined because the value hasn't been set whereas for middle name the value has been set to be an empty value so if somebody were to look at this object and say person dot middle name they would get the value null so they would know that it's not that the object is missing a property called middle name it is that the object has a property called middle name which is empty Okay, so this is another important distinction where you would use undefined versus null. If you have an object which does not have a property you're seeking, it's gonna get you undefined. So in order to convey an empty value, you can't just leave it there, you have to put a value in there, which is a non-value, and that non-value is null, which is an ideal value for that. 